Hello friends, this is Dr. Nikita here, your educator, mentor and friend and here's a quick mnemonic for today related to hairy cell leukemia. So the question is, what is the drug of choice in hairy cell leukemia? So for hairy cell leukemia, remember it as, imagine a person who is clad with hair, right? So what do you need to imagine here is a person who is entirely clad with hair what color hair is this? This is red colored hair. And why am I telling you this is red colored hair? Because basically to remember that this one basically is hairy cell leukemia affects the red pulp of the spleen rather than the white pulp of the spleen. Okay, it affects the red pulp rather than the white pulp. This is very important point that you should remember. If I ask you what is the CD marker in hairy cell leukemia, which is very, very specific. So again, remember this as this is the hair, this is the face and these are the ears of the person who is clad with hair. So the CD marker basically is 103, right? So CD103 is very, very specific, though there are other CD markers also like 11C25, 103 is very specific. Next question, what annexin is it positive? Is it annexin A1 or it is annexin A5? So when you write hairy cell leukemia, remember AI helps you to remember that this is annexin A1 positive. Okay, this is annexin A1 positive. Why did I say this person who is clad with hair? Just to remember the drug of choice here for hairy cell leukemia that is cladribine okay so the purine analogs like cladribine is used if not cladribine then pentostatin also can be used so remember it is cladribine which is the drug of choice in hairy cell leukemia remember it is what positive it is trap positive so imagine the red hair a person clad with red hair whose hair are trapped and entangled it is trap positive tartarate resistant remember this is acid phosphatase not alkaline phosphatase very important point this is tartarate resistant acid phosphatase positive and another extra edge point here because it is uh, basically you're affecting the red pulp of the spleen and not the white pulp where you have the lymph node wala area basically so remember you would not see a significant lymph adenopathy here in the manifestation right so the person here, the patient here will not have lymphadenopathy, but the spleen is definitely involved. The red pulp, the spleen is involved. So the splenomegaly is definitely going to be there. Okay, so there will be splenomegaly with pancytopenia and a dry tap, which will be there in hairy cell leukemia. You get an image-based question. So basically where they give you in the image, if this is the cell, it has this hairy projections like this. So that is the hairy cell. Okay, that is your hairy cell leukemia. So remember CD103, important point CD103, it is a red hair affecting the red pulp, so there's splenomegaly, but there is no lymphadenopathy. It is an XNA1 positive person clad with hair, so the drug of choice there is cladribine. Remember, you have BRAF mutation here, so you use the drugs acting on the BRAF mutation. I hope this is clear about all the important points for hairy cell leukemia. For most such easy to remember mnemonics, that is mnemonics, or on all the subjects, do join me on the MedSynapse app by Dr. Nikita, which is available both on Android and iOS. You have the short, short course with the most important topics of all subjects available in the MedSynapse app. See you there. Thank you. Till then, keep studying, keep MedSynapsing, keep revising, and keep winning. Thank you.